Hello learners! In this video, we are going to talk about subject-verb agreement. You might have many questions as to what that is, but don't worry, we will start at the beginning. Subject-verb agreement is a grammatical rule that states that the verb in a sentence must agree with the subject in terms of number and person. But before we delve deeper into the topic, let us first define what is a subject, a verb, a singular and plural noun, and a singular and plural verb. The subject includes the person or thing, also known as noun, executing the action described in the sentence. According to Gunner 2022, a singular noun refers to one person, one place, one thing, or one idea. And according to Caulfield 2023, a plural noun is a noun that denotes more than one of something in contrast to a singular noun. The verb describes the action in a sentence, such as dancing and clapping. Singular verbs are used with singular subjects to indicate their actions. In accordance with Kittlestad 2022, a plural verb is employed when there are multiple individuals or objects performing the action. According to Walden University Writing Center, there are different rules in subject-verb agreement. The first rule is, when the subject is singular, the verb should also be singular. For example, the cat chases the mouse. The subject in the sentence is cat and the verb in the sentence is chases. The subject is singular. That is why the verb is also singular. The second rule is, when the subject is plural, the verb should also be plural. Example, the dogs bark loudly at night. The subject in the sentence is, dogs. And the verb in the sentence is, bark. The subject is plural. That is why the verb is also plural. The third rule is, if the subject has two or more nouns connected by and, use a plural verb. Example, the book and the pen are on the table. The book and the pen are the subjects in the sentence and uses the plural verb are. The fourth rule is, if there is one subject with multiple verbs, all verbs must agree with the subject. Example The dog barks and runs in the park. The subject in the sentence is the dog, and the verbs are barks and runs. The subject is singular, that is why both the verbs are also singular. The fifth rule is if a phrase appears between the subject and the verb, the verb still aligns with the subject, not the noun or pronoun that follows the subject of the sentence. For example, the manager as well as the committee members is excited for the trip. The subject in the sentence is the manager, followed by a phrase that has also a noun, but the verb still agrees with the first subject in the sentence. The sixth rule is, two or more nouns and pronouns that are connected by OR or NOR uses a singular verb. For example, neither Sarah nor John is attending the meeting. Sarah and John are both the subjects in the sentence. They are connected by nor, that is why the verb is singular. The seventh rule is, 
if a compound subject includes both a singular and a plural noun or pronoun connected by and, or, or nor, the verb must correspond to the subject closest to it. This is also known as the rule of proximity. Example, the cat and dogs are in the park. The cat and dogs are both the subject and the sentence, but the verb agrees with the subject that is closest to it, which is the dogs, which is also plural. That is why the verb is also in a plural form. The eighth rule is, indefinite pronouns are singular and require a singular verb. We use indefinite pronouns to refer to people or things without actually saying what and who they are. Example, someone is playing a guitar. The subject, which is an indefinite pronoun, is singular. That is why the verb is also singular. Rule number nine, uncountable nouns require a singular verb. Example, the water is cold. The subject is water, which is an uncountable noun. That is why the verb is singular. Rule number 10. Some countable nouns such as goods, odds, earnings, surroundings, revenues, treasures, and contents only have a plural form and require a plural verb. Example. Surroundings are important to consider when choosing a place to live. The subject, which is surroundings, is a countable noun that only has a plural form. That is why the verb is also in its plural form. Rule number 11. In sentences that start with there is or there are, the subject comes after the verb because there is not the subject. The verb is consistent with what follows it. For example, there are many apples on the table. The subject in the sentence is the apples, which is in its plural form. Because it agrees with the verb, which is are, that is also plural. The last rule is, Collective nouns are singular and require a singular verb. According to Betty MJ 2021, collective nouns are nouns that, even in singular form, represent groups consisting of multiple individuals or entities. Examples of collective nouns are team, police, and committee. Example, in the meeting, the committee discusses the budgetary issues every month. The committee, which refers to a group of people but is considered a singular, is the subject of the sentence. That is why the verb is also singular. To test if you really learned something, let us try to answer the following sentences. The cat run, runs swiftly across the yard. What do you think is the correct verb that agrees with the subject of the sentence? The answer is runs. Because the subject, which is the cat, is singular. That is why the verb should also be singular. Next, the team is are playing well. What do you think is the answer? The answer is is. Very good! Because team is a collective noun and it requires a singular verb. Last one. The water is are salty. What do you think is the answer? The answer is is. Because the subject is an uncountable noun and it requires a singular verb. Very good! Congratulations! You did a very great job! Thanks for watching! Goodbye!